Hi, this is Andy from GPS Training. In this short video, I'm going to show you how you can pair a Map 64S GPS, Map 64S GPS with your iPhone so you can use the Garmin Connect app from the App Store for live track functions, seeing messages from your phone on the screen of your GPS and syncing data from tracks. First thing you need to do on your iPhone is download the Garmin Connect app from the App Store. So you would simply go to the App Store like you would normally do to download an app and search for Garmin Connect. I've already got the Garmin Connect app on my phone. So I'll just move in here, we can see it's the blue logo that says Garmin Connect, where my thumb is now. That's the Garmin Connect logo. So I've already downloaded that from the Connect store onto the GPS. First thing you need to do on your phone is make sure that your Bluetooth settings are turned on. So you go to the settings cogwheel icon of your iPhone, touch on settings, and then I was already on Bluetooth. So if you weren't on Bluetooth, you just find your Bluetooth setting, touch on Bluetooth, and just swipe across to make sure Bluetooth is turned on if it wasn't turned on. We can then close the settings down on your iPhone and we go back to the Garmin Connect app. So I'm just swiping the screen until I get to the Garmin Connect app. Open up the Connect app. I've already got a watch connected to the Connect app, but we're now going to connect the GPS device. So we select the option of more from the very bottom right. There's three little circles in the wording more. I'm just going to hide that message that's coming through. That was just my fitness watch syncing with the app. So I'm going to select more from the bottom right. And then one of the options on the screen, if you scroll up and down, is Garmin devices. So we're going to add a Garmin device to the app. So we select Garmin devices. In the initial list that's displayed, it's showing you any devices I've got linked to my Garmin Connect account. Normally, if you're doing this for the first time, you won't necessarily see any items down there. The only GPS I've got connected is my watch, which is shown along the very top window here under devices. We're now going to add the Map 64S unit. So I need to move to the bottom of the screen where it says Add Device and select Add Device. Initially on the screen of your phone you'll see some fitness watches. If you're not pairing a fitness watch, which we're not today, you need to select the Browse All Compatible Devices. Select that and then in the options shown you'll see GPS Map. It's a GPS Map 64 we're going to link, so we select the option GPS Map and just touch on there. And now in the selection there we've got a few different GPS map units. I'm just going to select the one that says GPS map 64. That's suitable for the 64S as well. So we select GPS map 64 and then it tells you on the screen of your phone to make sure your Garmin device is in Bluetooth pairing mode. So I'm now going to go back to the GPS device. Now on a 64S device to get to the main menu, the setup menu on your GPS, you can press the menu button twice. And then you see the setup spanner in the top left. If you've moved the icons around, just make sure you move the cursor using the up and down arrows until you're on setup. And then press the enter button on the keyboard. And then you use the up and down arrows to move on to the wording Bluetooth. So I've got the cursor on Bluetooth now. And then we select enter. I now get the option of connection off at the top. If I press enter on that, that should be on. And then we move down to pair mobile device and select enter. So make sure connection's on and go to pair mobile device and press enter. Sometimes when you do this for the first time, your screen will automatically go in the Bluetooth setting to ready to pair. That's absolutely fine if it does that. As long as the screen now says ready to pair on your 64S unit. I go back to the phone now. And at the bottom of the screen, it's got the wording start. So I now select start on the phone. It's now searching for the device. It's found the 64S and it's asking me, do I want to pair with the device? So I select the wording yes. And then on the GPS, you'll see I've now got a pass key appear, 014530. So what you need to do is type that in on the phone in the box. So 014530 zero and then just select pair and that should now pair with the 64s it's now telling me that it's completing the setup on the device so we've just got to wait until that finishes there's a little blue bar going across the screen once that's finished we can go back onto the gps just to check that it's showing as connected so we'll just wait until this is complete it now says pairing complete and i can just select the wording done on the phone if i now go back to the gps on the GPS, I've got the connection on, 
and where it says notifications hide that means you won't see any text messages coming through from your phone or anyone trying to get in touch with you calling you on the phone so you can move the cursor onto notifications where it says hide press the enter button on your GPS and then you select that to show so that you see notifications on your GPS. That's us done now on the GPS so I can just hit the quit button to come out of where we are just to get back to whatever page you want to use on the GPS. If I actually go back to the app now on the app itself if I go down to more at the bottom and scroll down till I see devices, Garmin devices and select Garmin devices what I should see at the top now, I can see that my GPS map 64 is now connected at the top and ready to use with the app. So I hope you found this video useful on how you connect your GPS map 64 to the Garmin Connect app on an iPhone. And thanks for watching.